This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. We got Meg The Stallion and Tory Lanez. Now, Meg The Stallion um, has accused her friend Kelsey, that was in the car that night, of taking a bribe from Tory Lanez. Now, uh, Kelsey was called out by some fans saying, I couldn't imagine my friend doing this to me, taking money, blah, blah, blah. But then Kelsey got in and said there was no money off or no money was broken. Nobody paid anybody here. Uh, this is all lies and everything will get told in court. Now, Meg's doing a lot of talking outside of court to sway the, the public's opinion, which, you know, I was unsure what happened at all at that time. You know, I was like, Tori probably did something wrong. She probably, everyone probably did something wrong here. But now it feels like that maybe things were exaggerated. I still think everybody had their own um, part to play in this. That was bad, and caught, I mean, we'll, we'll we'll get more information on what happened that night. Everybody was drunk in the car. Uh, Tori should have been a man and, and um, made this everyone feel safe in this situation. But uh, I, that, that's all I'm, I'll say on that. But uh, still, the exaggeration really hurts people's lives, everybody's life. Uh, Elon Musk being taken to court for $258 billion for a pyramid scheme in Dodge Dogecoin. He was pushing Dogecoin, the price of Dogecoin, just by saying certain things. But he wasn't really technically encouraging people to buy it. He was just accepting uh, a new form of currency uh, to buy his cars and everything. And he was having fun with it, just like everybody else was. Now, there were other people that were peddling the currency and other currencies and they could be held liable but i don't think elon musk will be held liable at all because what he did was fairly innocent in the whole situation uh he was just having fun with it and talking about it like everybody else was it was an interesting time uh obviously that time has come to an end and uh we are now in a recession uh but whatever uh kodak black says a lot of other people rappers that will not go to their hood they're shook and I agree with him, but there's also, like, it's good to go back and give back. But it could also cost you your life. We've seen that with, you know, Young Dolph. If you hang out in your hood too much and people get used to it, that's also another dangerous situation. So Kodak Black should be aware of that as well. You know, like, some people just go back to give back. But hanging out in your hood too much can also be a problem. Um... Deshaun Watson uh, in a lot of trouble. Who knows what went on there? But uh, he has a lot of women coming forward on him. Um, and obviously something, I mean, you know, one or two. Okay, but once you get up to like 25, <laughs> it's getting a little spooky, my G. That's all I can say. So uh, we'll see what happens that. He has his day in court, just like everybody else. But it's not looking good. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Peace.